Oh my god, am I tired today. This is just ridiculous. So this guy, oh man, look at that, 626, 321. He's got a lot of wins over there. He's got about a thousand games under his belt. So that means we're going to have a hard time today. So as you can probably tell, what's these little things under my boomerang and under my wizard? What? What is that? Well, uh, basically it's the... Uh, fourth tier upgrades ability thingamabob when you get the right sided upgrades all the way upgraded you can use your ability and now that I have the fourth tier upgrades I can actually have all of the abilities so normally you can just uh, get one ability because you if you do your random fourth tower you can automatically get them as fourth tier so that means you can use the ability if you want to I guess so, I don't really know why I'm saying this. I'm just saying the fact that I have 4th tier boomerangs and I have 4th tier wizards just in case I want to get them. I might test them out. I don't know if I'm actually going to use them. But it might be fun. Uh, the only one that I probably want to check out is the Phoenix. I think the Phoenix might be kind of fun. Somebody uses some sort of like, um, I don't know, some sort of big Regal Rainbow Rush or something on level like 13 if I can afford that by that time. That'd be freaking sweet, I think. So as you can tell, going with a farm start again, I think I'm going to start doing a couple other random strategies beyond this. Um, as always, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but what I think I'd like to do is try out some crazy strategies. You know, maybe do some random towers or something like that and see how I'm going to fare. Now, of course, I've done quite a few videos showing you guys how to win already. You know, these are very good videos. Every once in a while, I still lose. You know, I'm not a, not a champ. I can't win every game. But uh, most games you can. Most games you can actually win fairly easily to be honest. Regal Rainbow Rushes are the way to go and honestly surviving those rushes that people want to send out against you is one of the best ways to win because after they try and rush you and you survive, they don't have any money, they can't build anything and you rush them right back with even more stuff and you can even sell some of your towers or sell some of your farms that you have already to make sure you're going to kill them. Also, using your using their battle energy against them can be very helpful in winning games, obviously. You send out a mini rush that they can probably not beat unless they use battle energy. Um, maybe like three, regal, three sets of regal rainbows or something, like a $2,000 rush, but then you have like $6,000 still left over, and then you wait until their battle energy is over, and then you resend that rush, and then they have a battle energy cooldown, which makes it so they cannot rush, or not use their battle energy, and you easily overwhelm them. So I did go with, uh, Quite a bit of economy today. Oh my goodness. If you can't tell already, a lot of economy. I got two farms, I got 350 economy, and I got, uh, well, I guess not really any more economy. But I did pretty, I did a pretty good job. Compared to my enemy over there, he's got two farms, but I still don't think it's going to be enough. So I noticed, then I noticed regrow whites, and I'm like, uh-oh, that could be terrible. So I did end up using my battle energy. I know, maybe that's a dupe cake move on my part. But there's no way I'm going to survive regrow whites with just that lightning wizard right there. And I can easily get like a free zero boomerang or something up in time by the time that uh, he can rush me again. So, but I didn't. I actually decided to go for farm. So I went heavy, heavy economy today. Don't know why, I just kind of did. And as you can tell, two farms giving me crazy amounts of money over there, on top of my 350 every single six seconds, really adds up fast. But I do have to start preparing, so let's get ready. Level 13 is coming up fast here, guys. So what I normally like to do is like to get two wizards for the cannon detection, and usually one boomerang can actually handle a pretty solid rush. And there it is, there's the big raver rush. So we're going to try and defend that really quick. And as you can tell, 3 -zero boomerang just completely demolishing that rush. He did not do anything against us. And now it's pretty even for as far as economy goes. We both have a 1-0 farm. There are 2-0 farm, but I have 350 economy, and I got a lot more towers than him. And then he's going to get destroyed. As you can tell, he's got nothing left. But he goes for another rush against me. I think he just... And he used the battle energy on top of that. I don't have my battle energy back. This could actually take me down. What? What? Two boomerangs and you still can't take those rushes down? Goodness gracious, we're losing lives. But we do eventually take them down. Goodness gracious right there. Solid strategy by him. You know, send out a mini rear rush. Make me use my battle energy. And then trying to rush me again. Now, I could have built another boomerang or something. Maybe. But I decided against it. I thought I could take care of it. And actually, it almost put me in the pooper there. I lost quite a few lives. And then I'm like, you know what, man? It's about time. Let's rush him over. Even with all those lightning wizards, even with all that crap, he will not be able to defeat all these rainbows. And we're going to take this game, guys. Defending rushes like a boss. Yeah! And then we'll move on to the next game here. I'm sorry if I keep, like, licking my lips. It's like... I don't know. I just get, like, nom nom. Mmm. They're just so delicious. Mmm. I think it's the cherry chapstick I put on. Cherry chapstick is just... 
Man, I know you guys probably think I'm weird I'm eating all my chapstick and stuff, but I want to taste this delicious. How can you deny yourself of deliciousness? So hopefully you're going to enjoy this video today. I got a solid four games for you. I was going to put a fifth game of a cheater, but I decided to say, nah, let's just leave the cheaters out of this. I talk about cheaters enough. I talk about cheaters too much, actually, and I've been reporting them lately. And that just brings up a good point for me. I was thinking we should try and get rid of hackers. Just anytime you see one, report them, please. Uh, I will probably start leaving a link in the description down there hopefully but i just want to get rid of them i really do i really want to get rid of these guys because you know what it's annoying for everybody not just me when you have one fifth of your games cheaters popping up it's just lame guys so anyways yeah we're, i'm done talking about cheaters let's just get back in here so luckily enough for me look what i got guys i got nin or not ninjas i got engineers engineers as my fourth cow which really 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 helps me out for economy purposes oh yes indeed my friends oh yes indeed so, uh, because this is a reasonably long level, what you can do is get your farms up really quick, then start sending out some economy balloons. And your, those economy balloons are going to help you out tremendously. They're going to give you so much extra money by the time you get to round like 12 or 13, especially in the late game. So, uh, just think about that. Think about uh, getting some of that. You don't have to go as hardcore as me, maybe. Sometimes I like to go 350 400 450 Even $20 will help you out. $30. It'll help you out by the time you get to that late game stuff. Um... Even though it seems like a tiny itty bitty bit, after you have uh, six seconds, you earn thirty dollars every single time. You know, uh, every single minute, that's almost what is that? Ten? It's like three hundred, four hundred dollars, and that means by the time you get to five minutes, you already made two grand off of that thirty dollars right there. Pretty darn sweet, right, guys? I think so. So yeah, that, even thirty dollars counts. Just think about it like that. And when you think about it in those terms, you're like, oh man, two thousand dollars. I want two thousand dollars. Who doesn't want two thousand dollars? I could buy you a nice little, nice little uh, wizard or something. So I went really, really heavy today on my economy, as you can tell. I was just like, dude, I'm going hardcore today. I don't even care. I just want to test it out, man. See what five hundred can do for me. So let's go all the way up to five hundred economy. But this again does leave me a little bit open for some rushes on level eight. Regrows whites, regrow yellows, regrow anything can do some damage to me. But at the same time, if I do really get in a big amount of trouble, I could easily sell a farm, um, get whatever I want up, and probably survive. And on top of that, I could probably just use battle energy with my engineer and still survive, just just with that. But as soon as I get my lightning up, I'll feel really good about myself. But instead of doing that, I'm actually going to go and try to like do like a little bit of a mix of towers today. Do some uh, boomerangs and stuff like that. Getting ready for my 3-0 boomerangs. Um, keep those guys in mind. As well as, you know what, I got the 4th tier engineers. I could use the little sperm shooter and just, blow, 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 just spray all over the map. That could be my camera detection, which does seem to reasonably work sometimes. I've never really tested it out, but I probably should test that out. Oh yeah, totally should. In fact, that might be a, a reasonable strategy to do as my next few uh, games. Maybe I'll do some engineer boomerang stuff. Just lack of wizards. It just sounds weird, but it could possibly work. Could possibly so here it is, level 13, goodness gracious, what is going to happen right now? What is going to happen? Are we going to rush him? No, 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 we're going to wait a little while. We're not going to rush him right now. We're going to see if he's going to try and rush us, but if he doesn't, yeah. I mean, because we have the advantage as far as economy goes. Look at that, 500. We're just going to rake in the dough compared to his 250. Um, the longer he waits, the more advantage we have, put it that way. And I can easily upgrade my boomerangs and stuff if he tries to rush me. I think I'm going to be okay. Or if I see some camel balloons, I will get a fire mage. But here we go. It's about that time, guys. He's got, like, nothing over there. He's got some dart monkeys, he's got a dartling gun, and the worst part about it, about his defense right there, is it's all spread out. It's spread out, which is a terrible idea to do in battle. Do not spread out your stuff that much. Put them all in a big bunch, and you will win your games. If you got a big bunch of things. So here we go, we got another guy who's 27 and 8, but still, sadly, slightly inexperienced. 35 games, I remember when I was at that point, when I was at my 35 games, now I'm at 150 dough, that's like five times as many as these other people, which means I, I, every time I've been playing these people who are kind of new at the game, I just feel like I'm going to win. I feel like they don't understand Rico Rainbows yet, they probably don't understand how to do crazy rushes on me, even if they have a good win-loss record, it doesn't mean they're going to be able to play very well. So, let's still start off with a wizard today, and, um... Well, he's not going any economy, is he? No real red balloons, no farms over there. Nothing, nothing too crazy over there. What's going on? So I just have a few questions for you guys. So 
Uh, most of my viewers are between the age of 13 and 17. That's according to my YouTube analytics, which I can check out. Yeah, I can. It's kind of cool. I can see the demographics. I can see how many percentage of them are of you guys are technically girls, and you know people lie about that on YouTube and stuff a lot. But uh, I could do, I could check out all that stuff and see. Sometimes it tells me it tells me pretty much every video, like how many views are from which country and men and women and all that stuff. And for the most part, I think you guys are sort of young. Not everybody, but most of you guys are pretty young. And I was just wondering, do you guys have fun in the snow? I personally don't know if I have fun in the snow. Yes, snow is fun for one or two or maybe three times a year, but after that it just gets annoying. I'm not a fan of a ton of snow. Uh, the reason is is because I have to drive in the snow, which a lot of you younger, a lot of you youngins out there, you guys don't have to drive in the snow. You guys just kind of get snow days and just can sit inside all day and just play video games and stuff. But a lot of people have to drive in the snow or park in the snow, and I had to park downtown um, Chicago and in a parallel parking spot in like four or five inches of snow, and, I, and it wasn't even like shovelable. It was all frozen snow because during the day it was really warm and some of it melted, and then at night it all froze again. So I had frozen snow that I couldn't dig out that I had to park in parallel parking spots, and it was tough. So that's why I have sort of like a beef with snow. But, you know, one or two times of snow, that's okay with me. Um... Play out in the snow once, play out in the snow maybe twice, go build a fort or something. Do you guys build forts these days? Or what, what do you do? Do you just sled now? I don't, I don't know. I used to build forts all the time. I still build forts when I was like 15, 16, 17. I think the last fort I built, I was right around level, I was right around age 17 or so. So anyways, he's trying to rush me like crazy guys here. I got a bunch of regrow whites and regrow crap all over my, all over my stuffs. I gotta get rid of them. So I did use my battle energy, uh, which was not that nice. I didn't want to use my battle energy, but I kind of had to. But now I have a solid defense. I got my boomer, got my whiz, got my whiz up. My whiz is doing amazing, and I'm going to get another boomerang over here, and he's going for some more rushes against me. Man, that's kind of intense. But I'm actually kind of surprised, because for whatever reason, these boomerangs are not doing as much popping power as I thought they would. Anyways, here it is, level 13. What could possibly happen on this level? You guys know it. This is the level to kill people if you were to kill people. Steal some pretty crazy things. Now, I'm thinking, should I get my spike factory upgraded? No, obviously not. Don't do that ever. So I did go for a little mini rush with Regrow Rainbows right here, and that looks like it's actually doing a lot of damage. I wanted to just make him get his battle energy up, and it looks like we're doing some mega damage over there. Oh man, there's stuff coming on my side too. Oh my goodness gracious, he's down to two lives, but we used the battle. What? Oh, we killed him. We killed him with that little mini rush right there. I did not expect that. So the last game here versus Shazia. He's 25 and 10. Again, just a little young and over here. Nothing too crazy or special. Um, but back to uh, my snow stories and stuff. I used to, like I said, build a lot of forts in the snow. And it's not easy to build a fort. It really isn't, because if you want to build a good fort, you have to shovel a lot of snow. And on top of shoveling the snow, you actually have to, like... Depends on the fort you, that you like to build, though. It could be like a little like wall, which could be a fort. But the forts I like to build were the igloo-type forts. Those are the most interesting, for sure. Now, it's a lot more dangerous because you can die. But uh, that's that's beyond the point. We let's stop worrying about dying and just think about uh, uh, those cool the coolness of the igloo forts. Because if you guys have never built one, you should really think about doing it. Um, now, if you live in some warm climate areas like Florida or you know the Caribbean or something like that, you don't get snow ever. Well, sucks for you. That's not really something for you, but just still should, if you ever get to the snow, you should try it out. You gotta pile up a big, gigantic pile of snow, and then just start at one corner and just dig yourself in. Basically, that's all you have to do. And you dig yourself in, and it actually holds itself up. The snow actually holds itself up, but it has to be kind of wet. If it's ever powdery or anything, not gonna happen. So I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I really don't. I just, I thought it was interesting. It, it was just, it's relevant to me, because I saw a gigantic snow pile on, uh some random where did I see it on a couple of stores like where they they plow all the snow into a giant pile that's like literally 20 feet high uh, I was just thinking about it I'm like wait hold on a second imagine if I made that into a computer that would be just plain ridiculous people like homeless people could live in those things I could build a house for them and have it last for a couple couple weeks maybe a month I don't know something like that but but I digress. Let's get back to the BTP battles action. So as you can tell, we got green balloons all over the place over there. We're going to try and get a little bit more economy over here. That's not for trying to kill him. That's more for economy. He might think it's me trying to kill him with the green balloons. But it is not, sadly enough. But if it does some damage, hey, awesome bonus right there. Excuse me, I don't know what's up with me, guys. I'm just burping like crazy again. 
I just, I get so much air inside my tummy. What's up with that? I got probably, I should, I probably have a problem. Probably, oh shoot. Oh shoot, monkeys, probably got a problem. So, I still don't really see where his defense is going. He's going heavy boats with a cannon? That's probably not his best bet. That's just not a good defense overall. It's not going to work out for him. But look at my defense. Oh my god, I just got a freaking wizard. Dude, one wizard's not going to hold you hold your fork down. Absolutely not. So, I did get another wizard up to Lightning Wizard on level 9 right here. Just decided to get him. I just went like, upgraded him really fast. Got two Lightning Wizards. Now, let's get our Boomerangs ready. Um, spotting your Boomerangs can be one of the toughest things in this game. Surprisingly, you'd think Boomerangs, just put them anywhere and they'll do a good job. But you have to make sure they're attacking the first balloons and hooking around towards the other balloons. Um, not towards, like, random empty spots. I don't usually use 2-3 boomerangs anymore. I stick mostly with the 3-0 boomerangs, because they're better versus the gigantic Russians, which I usually have the biggest problem with. So anyways, level 13 is here, and I'm getting ready to upgrade those boomerangs, and then, no siree, he's not rushing me, so maybe we'll just go for a gigantic rush against him. Go for some big rainbows again! I know this is getting a little overused lately, but if it works, why change, you know? I, I just totally... I have to I have to agree with that. And here we go, Rico Rainbows. And guess what this is going to do, guys? This is going to take him down. So we are going to win this game. Oh, my goodness. And he's trying to rush me back, but no, it's not going to happen. So anyways, that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. As always, please press that little like button if you like the video. Um, any suggestions, throw them down there in the comments. And have a fantastic day.